So if you are an event, every event, no, there's no such thing as a single event. The only possible single event is all events whatsoever. That could be regarded as the only possible atom. The only possible single thing is everything. And your life, however short, everything depends on it. If that did not happen, nothing would happen. So in this sense, the whole world bears your signature. The reason I had to come back was all that I felt was that I was very much in love with my wife. And I wanted to be able to tell her that she can't die. It's impossible to die. We live in one human family. And the day that we start treating each other as such is the day that we'll have a better world. But as I said before, you know, we go through a process of indoctrination that creates all sorts of necessary illusions that prevent us from seeing the truth, which is that person over there who is suffering, you're suffering too. Whether you know it or not, subconsciously, you're suffering too. Injustice anywhere, to quote Martin Luther King, injustice anywhere is a threat to, a threat to justice everywhere. And it's absolutely true. I saw that I was bigger than what I do. I was bigger than my body. I was everything and everyone. I was no longer a fragment of the universe. I was the universe. Everything vibrates to its own frequency, even you, and even our thoughts and feelings. It's all governed by the law of vibration, and that we are all vibrating transmitters sending or transmitting our thoughts and feelings into the universe 24-7 connecting to everything because we are all the everything we are all one one consciousness one conscious energy and the most powerful energy within us all is love we know what a mess the world is in and we know also that each one of us needs to take responsibility from that place of love and we need to discipline, we need to all be in this together. Let peace be the religion of the world and we need to remember we're all part of the whole.